Hi, my name is Elvin. I'm a tech entrepreneur and I also coach entrepreneurs to scale up their businesses. Oh wow. I think I just dependent on like, you know, depending on like uh, <laughs> Uh, my, I don't know, my, my youth, I guess, to, to get people to ultimately buy it from me. Um, at that age, I think I was like 14, so I didn't really know a lot about like sales or pitches. They were just knocking on the doors and asking the people whether they would like to buy a toy piano. That was it. And that's, it was a numbers game, right? You just go door to door knocking until somebody like buys it and then just rinse and repeat. Yeah, that's a very good point because that essentially is client qualification, right? I actually had a really good idea that uh, the, when you knock on the doors, you realize who's at home and you realize that the housewives are usually the ones that will end up buying the, the toy pianos. So uh, if, I, if I knock on the door and I see that it's a housewife and I see like young children in the house, I know for sure it's an easier sell. But if I end up with like usually a, a man or an elderly person, it usually does not end up in the sale. Recently, a lot of interviews that I do are, are interviews about like the success that I had. Uh, but I don't think enough people focus on the fact that um, it's not about the money or the success, but it's really about the, the vision and the reason behind why you do certain things. Um, I guess not enough people ask me about that. Oh wow, I, I think people always focus on sales and marketing. Uh, they think that's the way to grow their businesses, to scale up. Um, and that's why when I, when I coach my clients, I actually tell them that uh, to, or actually to scale a business is actually a very holistic approach. Uh, sales and marketing, that's, that's really just the front, the tip of it. But um, there's a framework that I go through, it's five steps long and we have so much more to cover, right? I use the analogy of a leaky bucket. The bucket being like your business and then the water being your customers that come in, right? People think that they just want to have as much water uh, as they can, so they, they find as much like sales and marketing tactics and tricks. But if they have a leaky bucket, the, the water is just going to flow out. And that's what happens to most businesses. 